Hi there, it's Mr. Robs. And Miss Bui. And we're today we're gonna to make a video on rate of change. Right. So here we have a problem, um, a real life situation. Let's say you pull a plug from a bathtub filled with water. Oh, I like taking baths. Yeah, baths are fun. Me too. Rub -a -dub -dub. <laughs> <laughs> so the following table shows us the number of liters of water left in the tub and the time since you pulled the plug. So oh, so this is so there's water in the tub. We take the plug out. Right. So and then we're watching it go down. Exactly. Okay. And so look, so look at the first um, data value. Mm -hmm. So after 16 minutes, there are how many gallons of, how many liters of? 20 of, liters 20 left. liters. And as, as we can see that as the time. Decrease. So it's kind of giving us in a funny way, but that's okay. Mm. We can just have to recognize that these data points are good. Mm -hmm. At 5.5 .5 minutes, it's 90 liters. So right. So maybe we can figure out at time zero or how how many liters of um, water are in the bathtub originally before you pull out the plug. Right, that'd be kind of interesting to find out. Yeah. 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 So the first thing we want to know is we want to determine whether the amount of water is decreasing at a constant rate. Oh, right. So does it leave in the bathtub at the same rate all the time? Or does it go really fast at the beginning and then slow down? Then slow down, right. So how, do we, how can we figure that one out? Well, I'm going to read further and say just by your answer algebraically and graphically. So I'm going to take those coordinate points because mm -hmm. I see them as coordinates right. and graph them on a graph. Now, how do we know which one goes on the x-axis and which one goes on the y-axis? Oh, good question. So I always think about which one's controlling the other. Mm -hmm. Okay, so time, as time changes, it's the water that decreases. And the water doesn't control time. Right. Time controls the water. So time is independent. Time is the right. x value. So we should label it x so that we know that we should put these values on the x-axis mm -hmm. or in the first column. Yep. And then the amount of water decreases as a function of x. Depends right. on how, how much time right. since you pull the plug. So right. that should be our y variable. Right. And so we think about our x and y's as in terms of our graph. But when we do our calculations, we'll use like a and t. Right. So Perfect. in this problem, let's say, Let's say A will represent the amount of water. Perfect. So we should define our variables clearly. And here we're going to use T to yep. represent the time in minutes since you pulled the plug. Right. Okay. So shall we take a look at the graph? Yes. Okay. So if we just swing over, oh, it was over here. And Des oh, if you go to Desmos, click on that. There we go. And so here is the graph. Over on the left-hand side, we put all the coordinate points. Mm -hmm. And then we changed our windows so we could see them. And then we see those graphs. Now, if I look graphically, to me, it looks like it's a pretty straight line, that they make a line. Right. All of these points seem to lie on a straight line. Yeah. So this is how we can justify graphically mm -hmm. that the amount of water is decreasing at a constant rate, even though the space between any two order pairs yep. are different, but overall, since they all seem to lie in a straight line, we can say that they are decreasing Perfect. at a constant Should rate. Should we go back to the other graph? Yes. The other? Okay, so. so the graphically, we can see graphically. Because all the data points mm -hmm. lie on a straight line. Correct. Now, we're just eyeballing that, and so that's right. not a proof of any kind, but it right. just uh, give us a sense of what's going on. And then we have to do it algebraically. Right. So how do we show that the amount of water is decreasing at a constant rate? Well, I would... Do you remember how we find the rate of change? Well, I would think I'd want to look and see how, like, the water is changing. Mm -hmm. The change in water. So the change in the water. Right. With respect to... to change in time. The change in time. So does it matter which two order pairs we use? No, it shouldn't no. matter if it's all the same. It shouldn't matter, but right. let's let's just confirm it for ourselves. Let's right. take the first two, let's say, and try it. Right. So the amount of water um, at fourteen point eight is twenty eight liters mm -hmm. minus 20, twenty divided by fourteen point eight minus sixteen. Right. And so when we do that quick calculation. 
we get negative 6.6666666666666666. Should we ramp to negative 6.67? Sure. Okay. Nice. Now, um, what is the unit for this number? Oh, well, what's the top of that fraction? What That's in liters, right? Right. So it's we should put liters on the, in the numerator. Okay. And what is the unit for the denominator? That's minutes. Minute. So how do we translate this in... Right. Well, I'd like to... When I like oh, to, wait, I'm oh, sorry. That's okay. <laughs> um, should we verify with another order pair? Oh, for sure. Because yes. any two pairs will have a slope. So let's do another ordered pair. Right. So let right. me get some more space here. So let's use um, maybe the first and the last. Perfect. Let's okay. do that. So change in, looking at the slope, changing A divided by changing time. So the first and the last, so that would be 90 minus 20, 20 divided by 5.5 .5 minus 16.6. .6. And if it is changing at a constant rate, what should we expect this ratio to be? We sh it should be the same. It should be the if same. We're lucky. And is it? Uh, I'm doing quickly on my calculator. Crunch, 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 crunch. Negative 6.6666. Okay, six liters per minute. So we have verified algebraically that the amount of water is decreasing at a constant rate because it's a matter which two order pairs we use, it gives us the same value for the slope. Right. And so graphically, we just looked at the pictures to see if it was on a straight line. Mm -hmm. Algebraically, we calculated the slopes to find the rate of change of the amount of water. Right. So now, how do we explain that value? Right. Let's interpret this in context. In context. So when I do this, I always like to start with the x value mm -hmm. first. Okay. And I always so like to say... As? So the x value here in this time is mm -hmm. time. Right. So I would say as time increases by one minute the water the um, the amount of water amount of water drains on average drains on average by six point six seven liters, liters. okay so there, that sentence actually makes good sense to me. Mm -hmm. As time increases by one minute, the amount of water drains on average by 6.67. Or we so, can also say the amount of water decreases. Decreases, also. Right. All right. And so the decrease means is the negative sign coming mm -hmm. in. Okay, sometimes it gets tricky with the negatives. Yep. All right, so anything else for this one, Miss Boy? No. Nope. I think that's it. The All next right. video, we are going to come up with an equation that would relate the amount of water with the time. And then we can use the equation to Super. make predictions. Thanks.